Hello and welcome to the video. This is a very quick video to show you how to do this. This is one of my recent flights that I did with iNav on one of my wings. This was the AR Wing Pro that I recently updated from iNav 2.5.2 to iNav 4.0. It needed a flight just to get everything trimmed and tuned and this was the flight. Now I'm looking at it here in Google Earth Pro and if you have a black box log uh, that you can access either from flash memory on your flight controller or an SD card if it's something like one of the Matek flight controllers then it's not too tricky to do it. However there's a couple of steps that you have to go through I thought it'd be worthwhile refreshing everyone's memory of how you can do it with the modern stuff. Now, unfortunately, you can't take the log file from the flight controller and drag and drop it directly into Google Earth. There is a couple of intermediate steps. Now, that text file that you get from the flight controller, and you can either get it via the configurator, or you can just pop out the SD card if it's one that has an SD card and put it into your computer. And those log files are typically timed and dated because all that information is read from the GPS satellites. So you can see exactly which one you need. What you have to do is you have to put it through these black box tools. Now these are ones that are actually created for clean flight, but actually clean flight is the father of both Betaflight and iNav, and the log file is still the same format as it's always been. So the good news is, is we use those same files to create a number of files out of the log file that we've downloaded from the flight controller, and one of those is a GPX file. That GPX file is what we can drag and drop into Google Earth, and by doing that, you can see the flight and you can replay it back and do some really cool things. So there's a couple of things you are going to need on your computer in order to be able to do this. Obviously, the first one is Google Earth Pro. You can just Google Google Earth, if that's not uh, too complicated, and you can download Google Earth Pro, and then you can pop it in here. I will put a link to everything that I'm talking about down below. The other thing you're going to need is to download the latest version of the Clean Flight Black box tools. Again, don't worry about the fact it says clean flight. This is the parent of both beta flight and iNav, so they work fine. What you need to do is go over here to find the latest release and you can download either the Mac or the Windows version and install those as well. The Windows version looks like this and these are the black box tools that you get when you download it. This is all they are. Black box to code, black box render and all these other things. Now this is the log file that I've copied off my SD card and to make the file that I'm interested in all I'm going to do is I'm going to click and hold the left mouse button drag that file on top of black box decode and let go and then in the blink of an eye it creates all these extra files. So if we go into the desktop, these are all the files here that we're looking at. One of them is called GPX and that's the one that we are interested in. So what we'll do is we'll start Google Earth and once Google Earth has started, then if we just drag that out of the way a little bit, go into here, what we can do is we can drag that GPX file into Google Earth Pro and then say OK and then magically it will zoom in and show you the flight like we were looking at before. Isn't that cool? So just thought I would show you this. Again, links all down below if you're interested. It's a really cool thing to be able to do and you'll be seeing this in another video or two that's coming up on the channel soon. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.